Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the souvenir from Henri White. Uh, what is it? Basically, it's a card to impossible location or uh, it's another way of thinking about a torn and restored card. Uh, you take uh, the spectator sign selection, you tear the center out of it, and then you place it around the stem of their wine glass. Uh, they're able to look at it afterwards and examine it, and uh, Henri suggests that you could even take it home as a souvenir. You want to see what it looks like? This is it. I'm Henry White. I want to share with you an effect that is elegant, baffling, and is the perfect souvenir for your guests. A card is selected and signed by the spectator. Shown front and back. You then tear out the centre of the car That very same card now visibly links onto the stem of any borrowed glass. It can then be thoroughly examined and treasured by your guests for years to come. This is the souvenir. I'm Henry White, and this is the souvenir. All right, so that was Henri White. This DVD is brought to you by the good people down at World Magic Shop. So a couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what is in the box? Uh, what's in the box? Uh, you're getting a cardboard sleeve, and inside that you're getting a DVD. The DVD is 20 minutes long. Uh, just a thought, 20 minute long video in a sleeve uh, for $32 probably would have saved some production costs by just making this a download. In other words, you're not getting any gimmicks or gas or any uh, materials with this, and a video that's only 20 minutes long probably would have saved Henri some money, probably would have saved you some money if they had just made this a video download. Is it what I thought? Uh, kind of, I guess. I mean, watching the video, you can kind of tell this is probably similar to other torn and restored card tricks, and it is. I mean, if you have experience already, with maybe preparing your own gimmicks for a TNR, uh, it's gonna be that same kind of setup. And so uh, if you've got familiarity with those kind of tricks, I think it's gonna be in the wheelhouse of what you think. How are the angles on this? The angles on this are dirty. They are knacky. There is some serious funny business going on. And so uh, it's a good thing that this is a restaurant style trick. Restaurants mostly are dimly lit. Um, and your spectators are sitting and maybe in this you are too. And I think um, just having all the equipment maybe by your chest and knowing that no one's behind you uh, and maybe the, the loudness of the restaurant and the dimly lit lights, I think all might help you. But I think these are things you need to think about uh, when purchasing this effect. Can it be inspected? You know, the whole premise behind this is Henri is suggesting that you give this out as a souvenir. However, uh, I would be very leery about giving someone my prepared gas that I made at home with, you know, my tools <laughs> uh, and saying, oh sure, take it home and keep it forever. Chances are your spectator will never hyper examine it uh, the way a magician would, but it's still possible. Uh, it is possible. Uh, I think most people, the visual clues might fly right by them and they might assume one thing for another. And so I think 99% uh, of the time you'll get away with it. The other weird aspect to this is Henri is suggesting that you give a wine glass away as a souvenir. You need to make sure that you can do that. Uh, if you work at a restaurant, you know that wine glasses belong to the restaurant. 
So the only way around this would be to maybe select a wine glass from the gift shop or bringing one yourself and then doing the effect and saying, hey, would you like this glass as a souvenir uh, and you get to keep the card around it? They say yes and then they have to pay for it. Uh, but I think you'd get into a lot of trouble uh, just giving this glass away. Uh, maybe the best route for this would be to do it at somebody else's house with their wine glasses. Otherwise, I think you'd be doing this trick showing them the wine glass and saying, there's your card, it's, a, it's there, right? They say yes. And then saying, you know what, we, we have this problem. Uh, spectators really wanna keep the card and so they have to steal the wine glass. And so the restaurant has asked me to remove the card. And then you remove the card, you give them that, they keep that as the souvenir. And then they still have a great story to tell, but you're not sending them home with this kind of gimmick creation that you've made and you're not making the restaurant mad for giving away the glasses. What's the overall quality and production value of the DVD? It's good, uh, it's shot well, you're getting all the angles you need and I think Henri does a good job teaching you this effect. Is it well made? Like I said at the beginning, it's a gimmick torn and restored card that you make yourself similar to other TNR plots. How much practice does it require? The practice is really gonna be in you doing the setup so this kind of goes hand in hand with setup versus reset. Uh, basically, you'd sit down at your table and you bang out a couple of these gimmicks. Uh, you can probably make one or you know one every one and a half minutes, every two minutes, and maybe go to your gig with maybe six or seven of these. Uh, and then in performance time, uh, reset is going to be a new card every single time, obviously. Uh, and the practice really is going to take place in you doing the trick. Of course, you want to practice this at home, um, but it's going to be hard to get into that kind of environment that you're going to need. Uh, I think the training is going to happen live. Uh, I think m the more you practice this live in a setting like that, the more you're going to be comfortable and familiar with doing this effect. But definitely angle issues, definitely something that you'll need to practice um, at home until you get the things looking right. I don't want to say too much without giving it away. Um, but like I said, it's a TNR, so you're gonna have to go through it and practice it and do your setup the same way you would do any other torn and restored card trick. Positives, positives for the uh, souvenir. It's very original looking. Um, I have heard, however, that there are other tricks uh, very similar to this, and so I have not checked those out. But uh, for me, this was very original looking. Um, it's a wonderful idea, and it, it, I think it's a great way to make a souvenir uh, for somebody so they can remember their special evening. Negatives to that, like I said before, you've got the idea that maybe people might steal wine glasses from the restaurant. Um, I don't like the idea of somebody taking my prepared gas home to examine it. Uh, that's something I don't feel comfortable with, no matter how good I think my gaff looks, I think that kind of leads to exposure. And then on top of it, in the person takes it home, I never get to know if they did figure it out or didn't. Uh, so I don't like not being in control of a, an effect like that, so that would be a negative for me. Is it worth your money? Uh, like I said at the beginning, it's $32 and it just seems a bit high for a 20 minute DVD where you don't get any gimmicks or gas. Who would like this? People that work in Restaurant Magic, uh, people that would actually perform this uh, professionally. I think this is a professional uh, magic trick, okay? Uh, especially for somebody that maybe is 21 and over where having a wine glass seems natural. So those things might be something to consider as well. That is my review for The Souvenir from Henri White and World Magic Shop. And we'd like to thank the people down at Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.